As you guys can see up on the screen today, I wanted to talk a little bit about American Virtual Cloud Technologies once again. Uh, this is a stock that we have covered a couple of different times on this channel now, and it's a company that uh, you know I have said uh, I'm pretty excited about, and I do think has some interesting potential in both the short term and long term. Uh, and the reason why we're talking about this one today is it was just absolutely on fire. This thing was up 10% uh, in a single day, closing at 221 yesterday, um, opening it right around the same price, and then closing today at uh, right around 243 ended up 9.95% up and it was a crazy day uh, and it's up another 1.65% after hours right now we're sitting at uh, 247 as the price uh, and this is all the more crazy considering the fact that uh, you can see here this was not a good day for the markets you know the Dow is down the S&P is down Nasdaq down again Russell down again um, you know, just we're ending the year on not a super great note for the stock market. I mean, you know, S&P, a lot of the, the different funds and metrics and, and stuff are very, very close to all time highs, but there's a lot of stocks not doing super great out there. A lot of investors not doing super great out there right now. Um, but that was not the case with ABCT. It, it had a very, very good day. It ended the year strong uh, in a lot of ways, up nine and a half percent in the week, up 65 percent in the month. Uh, you know, when we zoom out a little bit further, we're, we're looking not so good. But again, uh, in this little stretch from pretty much just the month of December. I mean, pretty much nothing was good this year except for the month of December, um, but we are in kind of this this upward channel right now for the past month um, of ABCT doing pretty well and doing pretty good. And even when um, you know we saw it dip down to right around $2 here, it, it's made its way back. So we're now obviously at an interesting level of are we going to see this continual reversal up back into the three, four, five dollar range for ABCT? Or is this just kind of like a dead cat bounce that's going to come back up and then 2022 is going to be more the same of 2021 where this, this thing just continues to get beat down and beat down and beat down? Uh, and are the shorts going to win? And are the shorts going to really profit off, you know, finally killing off this company? Um, that's what we'll have to wait and see. But Obviously, a 10% day uh, must have had some good news, must have had some good stuff going on. Over on the Short Squeeze subreddit, we see just people celebrating. You know, it's New Year's Eve. People are excited. People are hyped up. People are making money with ABCT, so there was reason to be happy and excited. ABCT from a Hong Kong holder. Uh, happy New Year with the Rockets. He's going crazy, um, and a lot of people were as well. Obviously, this was a very, very highly upvoted post. Uh, some other people, you know, getting involved with the same stuff, talking about a potential squeeze. ABCT, this is the one today. Um, you know, just saying squeeze of the day, buying and buckle up. And again, people were making money all day. I mean, this thing was pretty much just straight up throughout the entire day. Uh, and even after hours, it has not slowed down at all. Um, some of the big news coming out for ABCT was the fact that, uh, we now see the available, uh, you know, the available, um, shares to short. And this number went from 15,000 down to 10,000, down to 6,000. Um, the shorts are running out of supply of shares to actually be shorted. Um, and obviously this is uh, a good sign potentially if, if this thing continues trending down for uh, people looking out for a short squeeze, people looking for some uh, you know short-term explosive price action for uh, ABCT stock. Um, yeah, I mean, the fees are going up, the cost of borrow is going up, the shares available keep going down. Um, and then eventually, you know, people are saying if, if you know, they're going to have to pay up to, to buy back these shares and that's what could actually make ABCT explode, send it up to the moon, send it up to some of these crazy, crazy price targets we're seeing like three, five, 10, 30, you know, whatever dollars, whatever crazy numbers people are throwing around. Um, so this was obviously exciting to, to see that this is coming out and people were, uh, you know, excited about this as well. Monday, when market volumes go back to normal, this thing's going to fly. Um, I'm pretty sure volumes were pretty low today, um, you know, because even though the markets are still open, it's still, you know, a holiday in the United States. A lot of people probably weren't at their phones, weren't at their computers, you know, watching the markets and actively trading and stuff. Because like I said, it's New Year's Eve. This is when people have a lot going on. They uh, are traveling around. They have plans. So um, people are expecting a hot start to the year um, for a lot of different stocks. And ABCT definitely included in that, um, you know, when we get some more, uh, more volume overall. Um, this guy did have this post saying, uh, this is Seb, the economist, uh, ABCT squeezes just starting, ignore the imminent flood of shills and bots claiming it squeezed. Um, he says not financial advice, of course, just like on this channel, but, uh, he would advise to ignore the post about any stock that merely claimed the squeeze is over or that the play is dead. Uh, again, being up 10% a day, obviously people are going to be like, Hey, I mean, was this a short squeeze? I just made 10%. Uh, you know, this thing was $2 a couple days ago. Now I'm 243. That's really, really good gains. You know, people try and get 10% in a year. Year, you just made 10% in a day 
that feels pretty good. This is it, right? I'm selling out. I'm done. And, and you know, at least this guy is saying, no, um, there is more to come. He says he reckons that today is just the beginning with this running into the new year when the volume really picks up. Um, you know, he does say that the quick screen metrics overview, this has a 97.99 Fintel squeeze score. Um, right now it is number five on the Fintel squeeze leaderboard. Um, it got a type two and three Ortex squeeze buy signal, um, you know, just last week. Uh, potential buyout signals, $38 million in 550 strike warrants exercised by Hudson Bay Capital and $25 million worth of direct share purchase from Pensair Acquisition Corp. Um, you know, signaling again, he, at least he's claiming that there's a potential buyout signal um, you know, seeing that price action, everything going on with these shares, with these strikes, um, and with these warrants. Um, then a 19% uh, estimated current short interest percentage of the free float, 50% uh, increase or 50x increase from two weeks ago. Very limited covering, um, which again. Once those short have start covering, that's when we see that explosive action. Um, so if they still haven't covered, then there's still potential. There's still meat on the bone, and that's what he's trying to hammer home here. And that, you know, if you think this is a short squeeze play, that, that could be something that's potentially very, very exciting for you. 337% um, average cost to borrow, 99% um, utilization, uh, recently given a $17 price target. Again, we are at uh, $243 right now. So, um, you know, a price target like that, $17, that is significantly higher than where we are. We we're at right now and if we saw you know a push to 17 in the short term that would absolutely be the short squeeze um and then currently up 10 percent today but still well uh still well off likely squeeze point of three plus dollars so you know this guy is claiming he thinks the squeeze point is going to be three plus dollars again we still have a ways to go from that we're still what 57 cents off of that that would still be a very very significant jump from 243 um, but it's at least you know what some people in the abct and short squeeze community are looking out for this guy said, if ABCT can do this with 10 million volume, imagine what it can do with 50 million and 100 million days. Similar price to Prague can definitely fly. Um, so, you know, like this guy's saying, you know, just like some other people are saying, when it's on, when it's at these low volume numbers um, and we're still seeing this crazy, crazy growth, this just means that not everyone is trading this stock not everyone has jumped in on the hype not everyone um you know is getting involved that there's still a lot more potential now with more volume sometimes you see people push it down sometimes you start seeing a sell-off so sometimes you start uh, you know having people profit taking stuff like that but sometimes um people look and they say holy crap abct had 10 percent gains on friday this is a stock I got to look at on Monday. Then everybody starts buying in. And that's, you know, another thing that can start, you know, really, really pushing it higher and higher and higher. So um, definitely taking into account, you know, the volume that we're seeing right now. Um, and then uh, one more guy saying that ABCT, if you hold, they can't buy. If they can't buy, they can't cover. And with the low floats on these, they will go boom, five plus dollars on this stock. You know, another guy saying, um, obviously, that he, th he believes that a lot of the shorts still haven't covered. Uh, and that once they start covering, this thing could see some real, real explosive price action. So overall, today was an insane day for avct people are very very excited hopefully you know if you were involved in the stock hopefully you made some money today hopefully you ended 2021 right uh and hopefully you know we'll see how things go next week hopefully um everyone can start off 2022 with a bang and hopefully it's a good year for everybody um you know want to see people win and want to see people making money obviously um and I, I wish you all the best luck with whatever you have going on but again no financial advice nothing like that in this video just kind of looking at the news looking at what the community is saying uh and following some stocks that i think are very very interesting and very very entertaining because they're so volatile every day is crazy for abct and a lot of the other stocks that i cover on this channel um and i just think it's a lot of fun but that is pretty much it for this video today guys let me drop a like if you did enjoy it. i would appreciate it so so much leave a comment down below let me know what you think about abct i'd love to hear your guys thoughts and opinions subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest content hopefully catch you guys in the next one but until then peace